Right, welcome back to uh, View from the Allotment End, uh, the third section of tonight's podcast. Um, we're dedicating this to Hall Road Rangers principally, because at the end of the day we are in their clubhouse, but we'll touch on uh, <laughs> other non league as well. So, um, going back a fortnight uh, since we last spoke about Hall Road, we had the big game against Hallam. Yeah. They came out, you went. They came I went, out, yeah, it was a 1 0. Freezing day, massive sloping pitch. Real sort of top of the league battle of attrition. Fortunately enough, we scored in the 50 odd minute, 52, 53 minutes or something like that, and managed to hang on for a very important victory. So that puts Alan, you know, Alan's now into sixth place, and we're in third. So it's good to beat teams around us, and especially ones when we beat them away. Never mind all this football stuff, what about the importance? How do you leave your manager behind? <laughs> when, you, when you've just won at home. I have no idea. Hey, he could have had a lift with me. Did you get yeah. a lift? Yeah, I did get a lift. No, he said he'd rather win it than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Was it a publicity stuff? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, well, loads of people keep asking me that. Did he leave it on purpose so they get into the mirror? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe so, he made the national press, didn't he? He did, he made the national press, didn't he? I mean, I can't imagine it being deliberate. <laughs> Well, it might be deliberate, but I don't think that's a publicity. Have you shook Dave's hand? Just because they've done their editing. It's got yeah. a right tight grip when you shake his hand, isn't it? You don't like to think you'd grab your throat because you missed it, you know. <laughs> Left him out. And was the, uh, was the newly appointed chairman uh, an hour host Mr. Myers? Was he yeah. was he anything to do with it? Or was he ducking No, he, he was, uh, he was there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
football in side this year. Yeah. Um, Pitch in the Fetcher. Um, yeah. Yeah, Pete went to watch uh, Montley yeah. against Stavely a couple of weeks ago. They didn't play any football at all, no. <laughs> really. Um, got the ball back to front. Those sort of teams might profit on uh, on dodgy pitches. But uh, fairness to all road, they've got a lot of good players this season. They've got a lot of good attacking players. I think yeah. Pete's got a point about uh, where their goals are coming yeah, from. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they're scoring five goals in some games like they did against um, West Ham a couple of weeks ago. And, and you know, it's five different goal scorers, yeah. which is great. Not having to rely on one person because, you know, if you know, they're ill or they're injured or just can't get to the game for it work. Yeah, I think that's what David Cow does from earlier. It's, it's got, it's, it's, there's, that, there's that contradiction in thinking that a big squad of players to get through a huge number of games on this level. But you also need that kind of core as well. So you have to get the two. And I think they've got that in the whole of this season. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. kind of using the squad wisely, but it's got that core of a team. Yeah, that's I think a good you could level that whole road last year, couldn't you? I mean, the week two, yeah, it was a different team every week. Half a dozen games, it was a yeah. different team every week, and different faces. And, but certainly this year, he's got the backbone of seven or eight, maybe nine players that have been yeah. week in, week out. I think that's. Yeah. And they've all played together before. Stuff, so, yeah, yeah, I think absolutely. it helps with Ashtex for playing regularly and marshalling the defence and not conceding an awful lot of goals. No. <coughs> no, they've got a really strong backbone. I mean, Ash is a cracking player. We went to see Martin last year and he yeah. was playing on the. And he stands out because, uh, I hope you don't see this, but he's a big lad uh, and that comes from a big lad. Um, <laughs> but he's skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a on Twitter. <laughs> Ash is a big lad who's an athlete. Um, Come on. You got <laughs> Keep digging. Keep Come digging. Life, Rick. And uh, he's, he, he stood out straight away uh, for Barton. He's, he's a hell of a defender. And then he, I think he scored twice when we saw him. Yeah, he did. Two from the corner. Two yeah, towering so, headers. Um, at, uh, as soon as a new hall road had signed him in the summer, I thought, we've got some ambition this season. And they've got a few um, really good players to win. So. Um, they just need the crowds, don't they? Uh, yeah, he's an athlete. He, he scored the winner against Hallam, and uh, he, his celebration was him <laughs> storming up the, the hill. Um, nobody could catch him. Is there any truth? <laughs> <laughs> any truth in the room that he only came here because of the sponsor by East Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I only came here because of the sponsor. By East <laughs> East <laughs> <laughs> And, and John Moore Security Limited celebrating 25 years. Excellent <laughs> security. That's last year. <laughs> oh, yeah. 26 years. Yeah, that's a plug. Uh, yeah, we were hoping to have uh, Lee Myers here tonight and uh, Neil Windsor to talk about Hall Road or a little bit more about Hall Road. Uh, Lee has let us in and made us all brew, but that's, he's, he's gone camera shy on us, so that's his, uh, that's his sole contribution to the night. It was a, it was a cup of tea. Um, I, 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 we're going to jam in with fame praise there. <laughs> yeah, cheers, cheers, man. We were going to touch on sort of next season. Um, I was going to ask him next season, up or not. Um, do we really think it makes a difference? I think I think the definite plan is there to, for promotion. I mean, the yeah. hashtagging rise with us. Rise with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was speaking to Lee before before we started. He was saying that there are minor just which have to be with the ground yeah. for the next division, but it's not anything sort of restrictive or no. beyond what the clubs kind of got in terms of. Yeah. yeah, I think you know, it is a club on isn't it? And it's Absolutely. more people to come along and yeah. try. And yeah, I think so. I mean, that's, that's got to be the biggest disappointment in that whatever they try and push uh, with the promotion, when you get everything game, um, pie, programme. Yeah. Or is it beer? Not pie, sorry. No, it's, 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 Probably it's, it's, pie, it's, it's £10. Ten pounds, ten quid for ten all. pounds you get in, you get a um, programme raffle ticket, some hot food, and a drink. Yeah. Which is great. Great, great value. Value. Yeah. So you know you're on the spend And and they're playing pretty good football. It's not Maybe if you don't it's not all kick and rush. Yeah, five, five, five quid. Five quid, yeah. yeah. But they've had some good publicity in the old Daily Mail and everything and it just yeah. hasn't yeah. quite translated. They've obviously had national publicity. Yeah. Um, fanatical <laughs> and a fanatical. Yeah, really fanatical, fanatical and sport. the beautiful game. Um, so we don't get paid to plug these, but we might do that. <laughs> might so. get a free copy. Um, we don't even get a free copy for, <laughs> for contributors. No, no, you don't. Yeah, you don't. No, no. It's your server. No, no, I didn't get really. So, yeah, it'd be nice to it'd be nice to see more people down because it's um, it's a great little club, um, really well run, good clubhouse, yeah, obviously. Nice setup, yeah. Which you're in, so. Beer's decent. We've all just had a free pint. <laughs> well, that's only because Lee's downstairs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and now the weather's changing as Cheers, well. Lee. You know, now we're getting into spring. You know, and then the night matches are coming back. The rearrangements. It's not cold and oppressive to come out and watch, is it? No, I think in the past.
past, all three of us have, have done our best, or four of us, I should say, yeah. have done our best to plug Hall Road and, and, and get more people along. You know, they're, they're back within the, the city boundary, they're the highest... Uh, second highest ranked... Second highest yeah. ranked non-league team in the region, so... Um, and second, sec second highest ranked football team in Hull. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Arguably the most popular. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just a pity that more people don't come and see what what is on the doorstep, you know, so... Uh, like I yeah, said. no, I think if, if you got that to do, Saturday afternoon, Tuesday night, a lot of games coming up, um, come and give them a try, because it's, uh, it's, it's a good experience. It's yeah. friendly as well. Yeah, it's sometimes, yeah. Some yeah. of the opposition teams are that. <laughs> no, I'm not, not, not on the field, but I mean, yeah, you know, people can make you feel welcome and have a chat, yeah. so yeah, yeah, some get settled in. Yeah, absolutely. And you get to meet up. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. No, nobody will come now. <laughs> <laughs> Just us four. Okay. Yeah. Um, right, that's about it really on the uh, well, from Hall Road's point of view. There wasn't a lot of action this weekend in the Northern Counties because obviously the rain played a massive part of that. Yeah. It was the East Riding Cup um, quarterfinals. quarterfinals. Yeah. Hall Road won. Well, so they drew 2-2 two -two after, after extra time and then a weird penalty shootout 0-3. So... That's, I didn't see that. So. That sets up a semi final with the Hull City Excuse Development. That's right. Same as last season. To the old, yeah, which I was just going to say was the same scenario as last year. Absolutely. So that, that should be a good game. And yeah, should be a very good game, that. Bishop Burton, will that be? That, uh, mm. yeah, it'll probably be at the uh, Tronco Falls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nearer for me, bonus. Mm -hmm. um, and the other semi final is Bridtown and. Pockington. I will say Pockington, yeah. 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 I think it's Pockington one. So, you would imagine so, wouldn't you? So, potentially. A good final, really. I think so. Yeah, you can't do three versus the web unit. The city development's quite up, but you, it's a, it involves a lot of different players involved, so you don't know who's going to sort of turn up, I guess. No, I think for the, for the senior cup, you tend to get a lot of the younger yeah. teams, the sort of FA Youth Cup squad, so they're a little bit younger, but um, they'll give it a good go. But in fairness, two of them experience has told them that last. Two or three years that yeah. you know, lost to Hull United, uh, Hull Road, Hull oh, Berry Leafs. So. Yeah. But they pretend to be good football, but then you won't be able to come in physically to be kind of more seasoned. It's not for us. It's not for us. If you don't want to play this every week, I'll sort yourself out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, So, yeah, we'll just finish by plugging um, Hull Road's next few games. So, uh, obviously, we want the crowds to come along as, as we do all uh, non league. Yes, yeah, so the, next, the next two home games are 21st. Eccles Hill and the 25th Penniston, which should be an absolute crack of that one. That, that'll be important for whether we, whether we go up or not. And the same for them as well. And the same for them, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's a top six clash, regardless of what happens in the next couple of weeks. It'll mm -hmm. be a top six game. So, yep. anybody uh, knocking around Hull on a Saturday afternoon with nothing to do, um, get yourself along to Hayworth Park. You're guaranteed a, a warm welcome and some cracking football that'll cost you a fiver. It's next to nothing. Uh, that's it, wrapped up this week. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, thanks to Rick, thanks to Nick, thanks to Pete, and hopefully we'll do it all again in the next few weeks. And uh, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>